Okay, hello. Greetings to everyone out there in YouTube land. My name is Belle, and I want to make this YouTube video tonight to kind of um, share some of the insights I'm having. It's kind of late. I think it's like midnight um, between a Tuesday and a Wednesday. I had a really fun day. I've been um, out and about a little bit. Like Joey and I took a nice walk in the park earlier and just sat on this bench and just chilled forever, which I don't actually usually do that much. And um, then later on in the day, like towards the evening, I uh, went with Joey to a small lake nearby and it was about 20 or 30 minutes away and um, it was just really nice like I really wanted to wade in some water and I, that was the only place I could think of or I like looked it up and that was the only place I could really think of and so it really worked out well it was pretty quiet since it was a weekday but um, anyway so we came back Joey's not feeling that great um, Hopefully with a good night's sleep he'll be better. But anyway, um, I was playing piano and um, I have a keyboard that has um, headphones. So they're actually the same headphones I'm wearing now. So um, anyway, I was playing piano and I was thinking about how... Um, okay, this sounds a little bit... Um, depressing or morose or something, but I was thinking about how, um, like, so I don't know how I want to be more, even more independent, like, not isolated, but I was just thinking about how people really have to help themselves, and maybe I haven't been helping myself, I've been trying to, in theory, help others, and then not really actually doing anything or helping anyone since I'm not helping myself first, like the old idea of putting your oxygen mask on for yourself first, or you're not going to be able to help anyone anyway. So I was kind of thinking of that idea. And then something clicked, and I realized that, uh, okay, so something I always wanted was when I'm feeling upset. Uh, in the past, I always wanted someone to sit with me and be that sense of peace for me and help me reach that myself. And, fi I mean, I met Joey, and I have that sense of someone sitting with me when I'm upset, finally. But, so it's really cool, because I realized that, like, here I am, I'm sitting with myself. Um, I'm able to be my own person. But not just that, like, actually, I don't know, like, be fully present. Or that's not even it. It's just, like, been seeking so much outside of myself like for so long and not I mean part of it is outside validation but it's not just that it's also just like I don't know like seeking God or seeking um I don't know what I'm <laughs> looking for like, I guess I was looking for an outer form of love which I think we need to a certain extent we need like love and companionship and everything of course but I wasn't able to sit with myself and just be present f with for myself and with myself in a way that's really really um, like um, I don't know what the feeling would be not just comforting but really sustaining and really um, I don't know what the word is I'm looking for um, like, peaceful, definitely. Oh, my goodness. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, fulfilling, I guess. Like, I think I've been looking for fulfillment outside of me for a really long time. It, kind of the way I grew up and stuff. But, um, and then my being a young adult, too, I was still looking for ways to fulfill myself out of my, outside of myself. And now, um, I finally, finally came back around to being able to fulfill things for myself, just be myself and fulfill myself and not be constantly, just not, not seeking and also not like hopping around and feeling like I have to get to the next thing or I'm going to like freak out and not get the validation I need and stuff like that. Anyway, so it's really cool. I was thinking if I painted or drew an image of what I feel 
like this insight is for me right now, it would be two things. It would be a mirror, like, you know, like someone looking at their image or having a sense of themselves. And it would also be um, like the ruby slippers from the Wizard of Oz, of course, because, you know, at the end of the Wizard of Oz, um, the Glinda the Good Witch tells Dorothy that you've had the power with you all along. And so it's so interesting that it's true, but you can't just think about it. It has to kind of dawn on you. You have to have that insight through your own experience. And I hope I can remember this. Because <laughs> I know, like, it takes a little while for insights to stick sometimes. But I really want to remember this. Because I really like this one. Okay, thanks so much for listening. I'll see you next time.